Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Deviant's Casting. I am joined once again by my co-cast at Deviant's Firehawk. Hello everybody. We come at you with a bit of a special episode today, as this uh, matchup will actually be featuring two games from our local tournament. Uh, one of them was pretty short, so we just decided we may as well go with the first and the second game, uh, just to give you guys a little bit more to watch, and we feel bad about uploading something that goes for literally five minutes. Yeah, it's no, it's not real long, so we might as well make it the the entire series between the two. Of them. Very true. So as we see on our left hand side of the screen, we have our Link Joker player playing a Messiah list, and on the right hand side of the screen, we have our token Nova Grappler player. I thought I was going to say Rambu there, but I got you with a little bit of a trick playing his uh, Victor build as per always. So we see our players shuffling up. As I said, this first game is over pretty quickly, so we'll try and keep up with our commentary. Uh, the game is actually very interesting as um, any player is able to just run over the other other opposition as we see by having a five minute game here. Well, I mean, these two decks are notorious for doing both of those. They're both very, very, very aggro decks. You know, a good stride from the, the Nova Grapplers will just end a game. Same with the Link Joker. You know, if they get the right chance, go into, let's say, a, um, oh, what's it called? It's not Flag, it's the other one. Big Crunch? No, no, the other one that blows up their field. You'd think I'd, oh, think I'd remember these things. Excelix, that's the word I'm looking for. A good Excelix play will end a game. Yeah, very true. So, when I could finally get my words out, <laughs> yeah, I totally play this game, don't I? Yeah, man, totally. You're all about it. <laughs> um, it's it's going to be interesting to see which one actually does it, because I haven't seen this game yet. Uh, I, I kind of skimmed through it, because I, I thought uh, it was a bit too short. I was like, four minutes, did our camera shut off again? But no, 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 it's... Uh, Primarily shuffling, but uh, once we see the game actually start, it does go pretty quickly. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, we, we've got to hype it up a little bit, so that it gives us plenty of time to do that while we're shuffling. Very true, and as you can or tell, we are, we are having a little bit more fun with this one than we normally would be. As we said, it's a special oh, episode. That's a bad opening from the Link Choker right there. Oh. Takes three. Looks like it does. <laughs> and, uh, looks like three as well from yeah, our Nova Grappler player. <laughs> that's not a good start. No. <laughs> That's right, we still see shuffling, shuffling, oh, mixing the cards around, making sure everything's nice and shuffled. Once we get into this game, I do promise you guys it does go a little bit quicker. And as I said, we do have another game after this. We'll probably put time codes if you want to skip the short game if you're not feeling like a, a rough, watching a ruffle stomp here. Pretty much. So we do see our opening hands. Server Temper, a beautiful new card given to uh, the Nova Grappler players. Uh, is in terms of a promo card for actually playing in shop tournaments, which is absolutely fantastic for their deck. So we see a ride of a stride fodder passing the turn, a draw, riding a stride fodder as well and attacking. No guard is declared. Uh, Maoyaki, I believe, or is that Arboreal? Um, no, that's Arboreal. That's Arboreal. Yes. So we see an arrest on the side. Messiah played. No check. Freeze Checked ray. Into a Beautiful. Freeze ray. Last stand trigger. Drawing for turn. He's got a plethora of grade two options he can use. He is he's taking that early aggression right now, which is definitely good for the Nova Grappler player. Server Temper attacking for 9k. Will we see a guard from our Link Joker player? That's a Lady Blackwell, I think, I, is, is down in damage. Do and a critical trigger, so two damage oh. there. Oh, <laughs> that's four damage already off grade two. And that's what you get. That's exactly why you play for the early aggression, essentially. Just to yeah. go, oh, I pulled a crit, I'm immensely ahead. Not much the, um, there's so many grade threes in the, the Link Joker hand. Very it's true. Insane. Just, oh, he's going to call one. He does call one down and attacks the rear guard. Smart play. Want to get rid of that server temper before it gets online and gets absolutely out of hand. However, that was a nice guard from the Nova Grapple player to keep that alive, and a critical, and double critical double. by the looks of that. No, 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 it was a, um, an alter ego messiah. So just one, was just it? one critical. Ah. And we see the ride on to Victor, and here's the stride. And I believe this will be the game, as we said, ladies and gentlemen, a nice short one. That server temper really does put in work right about now, as you'll see. Two red lightnings coming down straight away. Just going for that field, I believe. Yeah, we're just putting the pressure on. He, he can sense blood, basically. <laughs> See, at four damage, this is going to burn a lot right now. 
may have been an interesting game had he chosen to ride the freeze ray and actually take that first attack and then lock down the server temper. It might have been a little bit, a little bit easier for him because now we'll see uh, the the real power of server temper just straight away. He's nineteen thousand, so that's passing already. So all effects that's... there, no? Yep, just okay. Just going for it straight through. And there's a stand trigger as well. So yep. And uh, as we said, ladies and gentlemen, that is the game. That's game. <laughs> that's <laughs> <All right. laughs> how quickly it can happen in Vanguard, ladies and gentlemen. Well, as we said, when a Nova Grappler player goes off, they go off. They really do. So let's jump into the second game, I think. Second game is starting up, as we see, just straight after the other. Both players collecting their fields and shuffling up again. Yeah, th that's how quickly it can really change in Vanguard. That one one lucky trigger at the start of a game when you're putting on that early aggression leaves you, you at one and your opponent at four. Well, that's exactly right. And, and, and a huge advantage, as we saw, was just the entire game. The Nova Grappler player was in absolute control. But can he repeat it? That's the big question. Well, we see here our, our Nova Grappler playing deciding to seven card his deck just to get a, a little bit of a de-clumping. Yeah, for all of our newer players out there, it's, it's a really good idea to do just so you could, between games, just so you don't end up with a handful of grade zeros or grade threes and such like that, because they do tend to clump, especially after a game where you're riding on top of your grade threes and such. Yeah, and that's exactly right, and especially if you do find yourself guarding heavily in a turn, a lot of your zeros will stay together throughout the rest of the game. So just a nice idea to just to give it a seven card after each game, make sure that you're ready for the next one without having your deck super clumped. Yeah, so it's just a general good idea, and it doesn't really matter what card game you're playing, it's always a good idea to do. Absolutely. And we see opening right. hands. Ooh, very interesting from both players. Yes. Three taken two for our Nova Grappler and two for our Link Joker, I believe. I think it was two, but white sleeves make it pretty difficult to see. Very, very <laughs> true, but we will see after they draw, obviously, because then we'll know if they have five in their hand or not. <laughs> Well, I mean, if they don't have five in their hand, there's something wrong. Ah, oh, it was three on both sides. It was. Alrighty, game is about to get underway. Let's see how it goes. Our Nova Grappler player not having the best hand by the look of it. I don't actually think he's got a grade three. I don't oh, think he does either. He's, going up. he's all about the aggression. <laughs> <laughs> going before he can, I guess. There's a perfect attacking. guard. And there's that grade three he was after. Oh, the does find another one off the top, I believe. Which is actually quite handy, that top deck. is nice and server temper ridden and swung. Not where you want your server temper, you really want that one on your rear guard. Definitely. But I don't think he had much of a choice, to be honest. No, I don't think he did. And that there we see that arrest him aside, just going for an attack. A critical trigger. Giving nice. a critical trigger and a Maoyaki into the damage zone for the Nova Grapple player. He stands and draws for turn. He you can definitely see the difference between the two games right now, as at this point it was 4-1. to one. Well, it's 3-1 to one at the moment off of a lucky trigger. Very true, but without that lucky trigger, the lack of aggression has just changed the game. Oh, and a right Dan now. Shark. No, that's not what we want. Searching for a rush ability off the top 5. Let's see what he finds. He finds Server Temper. I'm not sure if that has rush. I believe it does. It does. Yes, it does. Well, that's Which pretty. is nice, because now he's got one in his hand. Very true, very true. Which is, you know, it's if you're going to have to use Dan Shark, you probably want to be hitting a Sever Temple. Well, that's very true, very true. It's probably not nothing better to actually hit. <laughs> very true. It is one of the, the really best promo cards I've seen in a long time. I think it's probably the best card in a No Grappler deck, aside from obviously Favored Champ Victor. But that card paired with Favored Champ Victor really just turns the deck on. There's a reason you see them every now and again in, in comps. And there's that Victor. Double freeze ray in the damage zone, so I don't think we'll be seeing a, a freeze ray this game. Oh, I think he's probably going to hit Messiah, which he definitely does. Does he, does he go for stride right now? He does have the cards to do it. Does, and he does decide to stride. So we'll probably see a is, flagellate as we do. Oh, yep, there we go. Will we see flagellate is a good opener? Yes, yes, very probably the the best first stride for a Link Joker player. Well, a Messiah player, obviously, because uh, very true. Chaos just and generally decides to go with the Chaos Universe as their first stride. He doesn't have much else to put down, though. That's the thing. Um, he could just chuck down the critical trigger to try and get a little more hand advantage, perhaps with a, 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 about it. 
Just I'm calling everything down by the looks. That's very aggressive. Very aggressive. Play. He has made some columns, so there's a 11 by the looks of it, or he's just going straight with a Vanguard. I probably should attack with a Vanguard first, honestly, and then allow the other oh, two to definitely hit. Okay, Ooh. so just moving it... Okay, I don't think I agree with that play personally. I think I would have left the draw trigger there. And now we see... Interesting. Flage's ability activating. Unlocking and using its skill. He didn't particularly need to use that skill. He could have just waited no, for really... it to uh, unlock naturally in the end phase and use it and save himself a counter blast. So I don't particularly agree with that play. It was a bit of a rough play, but I think he's a little rattled from the um. The game before, very That's... true. Yeah, it, it does tend to happen when when because because as you can see that it was set up for a solid play, but he just didn't quite deliver at the end. Well, he set up, but then he he seemed as though he changed his mind about halfway through of what he actually wanted to do. Just probably probably not what you really want to do, and we see a PG come out from the Nova Grappler player, but that heal is unfortunately wasted. It does have the ability for a G guard though, which is quite handy. Yes. It's going to help, definitely. He can go into Big Crunch if it's in his deck now. We, can, we do see the ride onto Victor, so that's good. An optimal ride over the Dan Shark into Victor. Throwing his strides everywhere. Throwing it everywhere. <laughs> it's very, very aggressive and very messy, this Nova Grappler player. <laughs> <laughs> Got to go for the throat, I guess. Very true. So we see uh, a new Victor coming down, as well as Arbor Ale. Interesting choice to put him on the rear guard over the vanguard. Yeah, see, I personally prefer him as a vanguard, but I, I guess the I, um, Nova Grapple player has gone for a different route, and we'll see what he can do with it. He does get a lot of field right now, which is definitely nice. Does go in, so that's 15k attack as a 5k guard. At 2 damage as a Link Joker player, you probably want to be taking a little bit more because you right now can't do anything. Very true, so he does decide to take it. And he takes that one as well. Now, now the good thing about having that four damage for Link Joker players, they can actually do something now. Very true, but he's got a few more attacks coming at him. We just see he him definitely does. Mm -hmm. Taking a lot of attacks here. We see a G guard. I think he was. He's kind of holding out right now for one a big, bigger turn next turn than honestly what the probably the Nova Grapple is about to put out. Well, even though it's a big turn. Very true. So we see 35. So another G guard by the looks of it. Interesting. Into Scryu, and that looks like it might be a no pass. Does drop for Scryu's ability. Giving all effects to the rear guard off the critical trigger. And a PG as the third check, which is very good for him. A little bit of an overguard there, don't you think? Uh, I, I personally do think it was a little bit of an overguard. Um, he. Probably could have just gone with Scry you in the first place, and that would have been enough with the extra 10k. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. But maybe, may, again, he's probably a little rattled from that previous game. That's alright. So unlock to Soul Blast and draw. And that's another advantage of uh, unlocking during the end phase. He would have gotten another draw off of it with his uh, Alter Ego's effect. So we see. Do you see the ride of Alter Ego to. Fill that soul up for more draw, which is quite nice. Very true. So we'll see what happens. Oh, okay. That's interesting. Okay. <laughs> Little bit of a trolley play right there. Yep, yep. I like it. I like it. This is looking a little better right now. I believe he was locking, locking off, Messiah off of his stride skill, which he forgot to counter blast for. <laughs> Which he probably should have locked um, Blink for. No, no, no. I like um, I like locking the others. That's all right. Yeah. There we go. There's no, no, no. That's off of uh, nope. its own skill. True. So we have seen a little bit of a misplay here, but that's okay. Perfect guard declared. Oh, double critical. Oh, triple oh. critical. That would have ended oh, the game God. right there. Oh, my God. <laughs> a smart perfect guard by our opponent. Yeah, but our opponent right now is a Nova Grappler. Has, can't do anything. Very, very true. That's uh, that, 
the um, Transels Messiah is a very interesting card, especially against decks like that. When they overcommit to the board, you can kind of just control it and go, yeah, no, you're going to stay there. Uh, very, very true. And that's uh, another way that uh, Link Jokers are still showing up in tournaments nowadays, just because their, their stride zone is able to be teched out a little bit as well. And all of their strides have got a massive amount of power behind them. Do you see the great Maui coming out, which is a new stride I'm pretty sure he's added to the deck? Yeah, so we'll see what this one can do. I don't think it can do much right now. I think he's just burning a, a stride that doesn't cost him anything. So going for a three to pass. Heal, but yep, okay, so this could still be the game here if he pulls two more triggers. This, he does he not, do no. <laughs> Thank god, but two perfect guards are pretty good. That's gonna that's gonna help him a fair bit, especially against the oncoming Link Joker. So Soul unlocking, Blast. soul blasting four cards to draw four. <laughs> oh boy! And there you're seeing the benefit of Messiah right now, and just able to recover that hand so quickly. Absolutely beautiful plays. So standing and drawing for his own turn. He does have a great three in hand and a stride for. Does forget to stride though. Oh, oh taking no. it back. Wait, are we going to realize? We'll, we'll see. Oh, riding, striding. Okay, so building, there we building go. more soul. It's a smart play as a Link Joker, but you don't really want to overcommit too much into that. Very you true. can simply end up not being able to stride. With no way to stride. <laughs> it's as simple as that. Very simple. Do you see Lady Battlers of the Blackwell coming down? Very, very true. Just building an immense amount of soul here. He really is. At this point, you probably want to slow down on the soul building. Yeah, I, I think just, so. You're overdoing it right now, and it's going to get a little dangerous at that point because you just you just won't have enough cards in hand. Well, yeah, you're, you're getting them back, but... I suppose we will see. We'll see what happens. So attacking using the skills to lock itself to give power, able to counter charge off Sacrifice Messiah. Does he remember to counter charge? Well, hope so, hopefully he does. He's going to need it. It's a 5k and 3k power to Vanguard. We are probably going to see another PG come out. Does forget to counter charge. There it is. There we go. I don't know if Lady Battler needs to hit Vanguard. I think she just needs to attack. I'm not sure, personally. I'll... She doesn't. She does need to attack Vanguard. Okay, so that is a, a misplay there by our Link Joker player. But it, like we say, it, it happens. They all get locked. locked. Choosing not to Soul Blast on his turn. Ah, well, he can't actually Soul Blast on his turn, as he's not actually True. on Alter Ego. Heal Trigger does go off, though. That is quite nice. And a freeze ray and a perfect guard. Allowing him to live this turn. And just decides and to next... end it there. Oh, okay. Yeah. No. Okay, no, he's not. I guess he's just putting it that back to keep himself aware. I suppose. Kind of odd, but again, these, these are relatively new players, so. Very true. So we see how this goes. This could, uh... Game could end up wrapping up very shortly as we see a, a continual lockdown of our Nova Grapple players board, but he does have a front row rear guard available. And a big does server he have a temper. Here yep, we there's go. There's a server temper. 9,000 attacking the Lady Battler. Probably wants to intercept, to be honest, with the other one. He decides no, to gonna... G guard. Wow, that's a little bit of an overguard. God, this. He's just. Showing all the SPs, I suppose. <laughs> I mean, it's one way to do it, I guess. I suppose. There's the PG coming out. Probably should drop. Yep, that's a smart play. Mm. Narcissus, Aberrail, wow. and another Narcissus Absolutely check. Nothing there. He does just take it. And now we see if he can actually stride. We'll see. So there's some unlocking. Does forget his ability to soul Which blast could to draw. give him the chance and to stride. It, well, it would have as he drew a grade two, unfortunately. But we'll see how this goes for our Link Joker player. That hand of the Nova Grappler is looking awfully big. Yes, very, very large hand for our Nova Grappler player. So we'll see. 16k attack on the Vanguard, I assume. 
Yes, I would hope so. And honestly, I'd counterblast for that one and proc the effect because there's no reason not to. Yeah, I believe he just essentially said, I'm going to counterblast and counter charge, so I don't particularly worry about doing that one. Yeah. And attacking the Vanguard. 11k. A G Guard will mean probably a no pass. Depends on what G Guard he chooses to go with. So 31 is a no pass. So a critical, all, right, all effects to the rear guard. That's actually really nice. Mm, mm, very nice attack. Is it enough though? I don't think so. No, I don't think so either. A perfect guard coming out. We'll see if he remembers that he can actually soul blast on the end of his turn to draw. He does remember it this time. There we go. So we'll see if he gets enough to be able to survive. He might just, depending on what happens here. Had he done this, the Soul Blast on the Nova Grapplers at the end of their turn, then he would have been able to stride, and this would have been a much different turn oh, right there. Oh, definitely, but I think this might be the end of the game here. This turn is looking phenomenal by our Nova Grappler player. He has been on fire for the past two games, honestly. Yeah, I don't think I can fault him too much on uh, what he's doing here. Sorry about that, I'm totally professional. Left my phone on the desk. So, Alright, so an intercept, 18,000 attack, will be a 10k guard does have enough for that. does have enough for that. 26, using Victor's skill to stand server temper. This oh, interesting. No. Okay. Interesting. Maybe he's thinking of something else to stand server temper. Perhaps. I'm not too familiar with the way that Nova Grappler units actually interact. I don't think he has a chance to stand another unit. I'm not sure. We'll see how this goes. Maybe he's preying on pulling a stand trigger. That could also be another but thing. Could also be a thing. So no G guards left for our Link Joker play. As we see, he is a little bit punished for his overguarding earlier. We'll see how this goes. He's thinking. He is thinking. Big. That's a big guard there. So 20, 30, 41. I believe that's a... Two to pass. Sever Tempest skill now activating. There we go, Sever Tempest gets stood anyway, which is probably what he was actually banking on, to be honest. I'm not particularly sure how it's stood, though. Uh, the grade three, I think, does stand it. No, it doesn't. I'm looking at Sever Tempest now, it just lets you retire. Then I'm curious as to how he stood that. Eyes am I. Might be Maui's skill? No, oh, I think it might be Maui's skill. I believe that is correct, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it is too, too. and that's game. That is game. <sighs> Man, what a series of games. As we see, the uh, the longevity of our Nova Grappler player coming into effect there as uh, our, our Link Joker player got a little bit flustered and decided to uh, make a few mistakes that he probably normally wouldn't have made. But that just comes with a bit more experience of the game. Yeah, that's just time and experience, but again, like, even the best of us can get rattled and just make those small guarding mistakes, because they weren't huge guarding mistakes. They, it was just uh, too much of a guard here and too much of a guard there and a forget of a skill here, and it does happen to the best of us. I mean, the double the was double G guard was quite a large overguard. <laughs> that was a very large overguard. Maybe he was expecting more triggers? Perhaps, but still, I believe uh, it was a two to pass just with a scryu. Yes, well, interesting guarding techniques, but again, we all learn these things from time to time, I guess, very, and there's very not true. much you can do. Very, very true. Anyway, as always, guys, we'd like to thank you once again for watching our episode of Deviant's Casting. If you would like to hit the like and subscribe button to stay tuned for more, we very much appreciate that. And we'll see you guys next time. Goodbye, everyone.